guys, welcome to Area Diesel. Uh, today we've got a project in from Brian Block, BC Block 02 on YouTube. If you've been following Brian, Brian has a 1950s vintage Heister forklift. It's got a 320 cubic inch Hercules flathead gas engine in it now. Brian's putting an 8.3 liter C Series Cummins in this forklift. Brian has sent us some stuff from his hoard. This is what Brian has sent us. This is a Bosch six cylinder 3000 series pump. Early 90's vintage uh, C series, probably a 200 horse uh, injection pump. We don't know anything about it. We don't know if it's uh, functional, it appears to be complete. So our task is to try and take this core and turn it into something that's going to uh, work for the engine Brian's putting in this forklift. So, All right, we're going to move this pump back to the fuel shop. Uh, they're going to scatter it and we'll have a look and see if anything in here is going to be salvageable. Once we know what's going on inside this pump, we'll get a game plan to get something built up for Brian and we'll put this forklift back to work. So. Follow along. First thing we'll do is wash the dirt off it, bead blast it, solvent rinse the parts, and take it in and rebuild it with all new gaskets and seals and any parts that are worn. We're also, we've already got a little bit of rust. We can tell the pump's been setting around a little bit. That won't hurt anything, but we'll definitely have to clean it up. But we'll definitely get rid of all the dirt. We don't want any dirt in the build-up room. rebuild we'll totally take apart literally every part of the pump inspect it new gas and seals and reassemble it this tappet being returned. Those two are shorter, not coming back as far. Those are probably two that's keeping this rack tight. 
plunger is stuff. Plunger is. Yeah. The rack hooks all six plungers together. So if one of them's tight, the rack will be tight. Yeah. And that keeps your gu the governors operating on the rack. That's what's controlling yep. your delivery. Yep. So if you'd have tried to fire this thing up, she'd have been ran away. She'd have took off on it. It wouldn't have ran on two cylinders, but the other ones would have been stuck wherever the rack's at. Whether it's in shut off, it never would start. Anywhere else, it would run away. And can you tell what position the rack is in? Is it in? Oh uh, yeah, I can, and it is in shut off. So yep. she'd have never fired. Yeah, you would have never fired that. Do you think the plunger will be junk? Sal salvageable? Yes. It'll be okay. That will tell us if it was a failure or if it's been setting around. Yeah. If the plunger isn't scarred up, it's from setting around. If it's scarred up, it was an operational failure. Another class fit part have to be kept together. Not necessarily in a certain order, but. And what is the delivery still, valve? This is a delivery valve, yep. Two stuck plunges, rack totally free. Everything's in reference to number one. So that's your baseline. Timing mark is set with number one. Five will be next in firing order. One, five, three, six, two, four, five. Has to be 60 degrees pump timing after number one. If it's 61 past, we'll go to a smaller shim. So it's 60 degrees past one. pin keeps this rack in a 21 millimeter movement. Okay, ready to solvent rinse, face all our houses off, pressure wash, clean everything up for the build up room. Alright, so now we're back in the fuel shop with Gary. Um, we're about I'm going to say two hours into this project uh, and we've got this pump totally scattered. Uh, what we learned was the rack was stuck. It was stuck in the totally off position. We had uh, barrel and plunger two and three were seized. They don't appear to be damaged. Um, so probably from sitting around is what Gary's, Gary's thought is. Um, Gary, very, very common with fuel nowadays that you can't let them set around for even a month or two or they have a chance of the ethanol in it or whatever might be in the diesel fuel will cause them to get tight, varnish up. So overall condition? Overall condition is very good. 
very buildable. All new gaskets and seals, a few normal rebuild parts. Have to do a little bit of work on the end of the camshaft. Again, it was sticking outside the pump when it sat around and got rusty, but didn't damage the metal, so we'll just polish that up and all the loads are good, bearings are good, we'll rebuild the pump. Alright, so next steps, what do we do? What do we do from here? Next step, take it over, solvent rinse, all the hard parts. Use our sand off wheel, face off wheel. Face off all the flat surfaces for gaskets. Pressure wash again and again until there's no dirt oil, anything left. Go to the build up room.